Excuse me, miss, that mole on your thigh? Yeah. You might want to get that looked at. Melanoma is the most common cancer for women, especially blondes. What's your name? Victor. I'm Terry Daiquiri. It's not my real name. We are not born evil sinners. Our perfect knockoffs of God. The world tells us whether we're heroes or victims, but we can decide for ourselves. My name's Victor. Sometimes the best place to start is at the beginning. What? I am the backbone of colonial America. I'm a historical interpreter. Hi, Victor. How art thou? That's funny. She's an amazing woman, your mother. She's getting worse. She never knows who I am anymore. Who am I today? Some guy named Fred. Oh, you never change, Fred. So now you want to sleep with your mom's doctor. What time do you get off? You don't have to do that. What? Try to have sex with me. Oh, I really do. Satan, 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 Satan. And this is where it kind of goes off the deep end. All I had to do was answer one simple question. What would Jesus not do? Well, you're capable of having sex with everyone but me. The fact that some part of you resisted turning this into the usual nothing? I think maybe I'm one I'd like you instead. Maybe you're not so bad after all. No, dude, I am. I really am. Show me all the rules, girl. Hey, you changed your hair. Yeah, because of what you said about blondes getting skin cancer. Good thinking. I just want to belong. Okay, welcome back to Point Blank. Tonight, we're on the topic of foreign beggars in Singapore. Uh, I think during the break, we yep. were talking about the gullibility of Singaporeans. Because, like, I know we were looking at the video that uh, I did at Ang Mo Kyo. And, you know, okay, what's your take? Do you think Singaporeans are gullible? No, I, I, I don't think they're gullible. Because, I, like I said before, I, I think you had a compelling story. Mm. And because of that story, actually, I thought that's why they, did, they, they donated to you. Mm. I mean, of course, there are some others that are sceptic. Mm. Mm. Probably out of 10, you would say, and a ratio of maybe 3 would have donated to you. Mm. Well, Justin, you're saying that because of me, people are right. no longer going <laughs> to be gullible in the future. demonstrated to the whole of Singapore that, you know, that they've, done, they've done this and they are gullible. So, mm. you know, beggars can go ahead and do this and it's lucrative. Half an hour, $12, one hour, $24, and more than a waiter. But so, uh, <laughs> I'm sure, like... Um, I'm sure this is actually going on anyways. You know, like, I think uh, the one that I did was actually sort of uh, indicative of how everybody else is doing it. It's just that it doesn't... Like, for mine, it just goes to the pocket money fund, you know? Uh. But for everybody else's, like, not say everybody else's, but those that are begging and are running, like, scams and all yeah. that. I mean, know? I could very well do it tomorrow. <laughs> Looking at, judging <laughs> at how, you know, lucrative yeah, it is. just draw a little beer <laughs> and all that. And then you'll be fine, all set. You'll be surprised, you know, female beggars might... Just get more money. Mm. Not with that hair. Yeah. <laughs> Not with that hair. Okay, we're going to take the web, some comments. Uh, Cervantes? 
All right, that's true, Justin. I won't give to all these televised charity events anymore. I'll prefer to give them to Comcast, to people on the street. Too much money spent in their large-scale events go to go to fat cats. Oh dear. I don't want to go on a record and say people shouldn't donate to all these televised charity events. I'm just saying if you you choose, you can donate to whatever you want, but have. You better have a good reason for why that one. You know, why yeah. do autistic children deserve your money rather than breast cancer patients, rather mm. than the children or the elderly? Why? Mm. Why them? Mm. And you have to have saying that just because oh my friend is has that ailment, that's okay. But it's still not as rational or as um, as kind of enlightened as a, yeah. a, a better reason, right? A moral reason. Mm -hmm. Okay. Our next comment actually has Blade One Hundred One. Uh, he or she says, "Yeah, Singaporeans have a big heart." But how then can we safeguard ourselves from falling for scams? And how do we weed out the fakes? So do you guys have uh, any tips, 101, to how to... Okay. Uh, it's like a chicken and egg thing, right? Yeah. I mean, if you if you feed them money, then they will yeah. just keep coming back. Mm. So what's the way forward? You, what, what do you think? For foreign beggars? Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's quite easy to tell. I mean, you have your fake nuns and your fake monks, right. mm. and that's really been, you know, overly played, played mm. up many times. So that's really a dead giveaway. But yep. they could so be Singaporean monks. I, I don't <laughs> right? know. So far, not come across, but mm. more mostly foreign. Yeah. I mean, if it were for Daryl just now, in Daryl's case, if he doesn't talk, I wouldn't know if he's really from Thailand or not. So it's hard to tell, right? I mean, seriously, it's it's difficult to differentiate between the foreign yeah. ones and the local ones. But then again, what does it matter? You know, these are people who see, who appear to be in need of help. So yeah, okay, let's say okay, let's say somebody wants to donate to your charity, but he's saying that you know, hey, uh, but what if I want to donate to the guy sitting over there? Mm. And then how would you persuade? him to donate to you like generally I wouldn't I would mm. say go with your heart mm. you know you should give your money where do you feel that you want to give your money mm. um, because I think it's it's really a personal thing yeah yeah what if people's heart don't speak enough to your cause then you want to you know you want to pull at their heartstrings so that your cause can be championed if it's obviously important mm. enough for you to yeah. devote your life to this I think on a side note charities by and large in Singapore um, institutions like, like mine, we need to educate as much. We need to come out and actually tell people what we do mm -hmm. so that people can actually understand what our causes and, and our, our services. And then if they feel that, okay, it's legit that, you know, I should help you, then they should. I mean, that's how we, we probably get, can win them over. Mm. Uh, we have to do our part. It's yeah. just like you coming out there putting that that you know that message and saying that you're being robbed and all that yeah it's actually a, uh, an essence of sharing that information right. so we should we uh, has an so as a okay as a charity what kind of uh, marketing do you guys do like i mean the syndicates in, are listening <laughs> yeah as in like what kind of uh, i mean is that a is that a ethics kind of uh, sort of code that you guys stand by i mean for let's say if i'm a foreign beggar there's no there's no limit to what I can spout You know I can say You know My uh, mm. leg was chopped off In the war And blah 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 And you know I was involved in this And that But I mean As a charity What are the ethical limits to Just marketing? a rule of thumb A simple rule of thumb In, in fundraising um, Singapore has this rule That you cannot um, Spend more than 30% Of the money That you want to raise So if, you, if, you, if you're raising 100 grand mm. You cannot spend More than 30,000 mm. okay. Yeah So That is one rule um, Has into What you can do I guess it varies from charities to charity. Some would prefer to go on TV. Some would just like to print brochures and just distribute them. Yeah. Mm. So it, it really varies. Okay. So Justin, you were saying that uh, safeguard. How? What's the way forward? What the do you way think? forward. Yeah. I wish I knew. <laughs> um, on a personal level, I feel people should consider the larger scheme of things. Right. Instead of be overly emotional about it, charity is an emotional thing, and being emotional about is what makes us human and you know you, you do find it in your everyday life but if we could think a bit harder mm. and be harder on ourselves for yeah. deciding right be brave mm. right be morally brave to, to judge which cause deserves your help yeah and then maybe you know um, we won't throw caution to the wind yeah. at least there's some sense of a system a rational yeah. way of improving but just for yourself mm. I don't know anything about how policies could be changed to improve mm. the charity sector here or anything like no, that. I mean, I definitely agree with you because uh, my thought process when I do give to charity is like, oh, I feel bad. Mm -hmm. But you know, there's not enough uh, continuation of why. 
you know mm. why am I giving to this person I don't think about that I don't think about like after like I justify giving to this person I don't ask myself like you said like maybe it could be laziness or because like we take things for granted because mm. you know uh, spare change you know I'm always going to get more spare change because I'm a consumer you know mm. and uh, yeah what's your take Celine? I think it's really sad that, you know, with this rising number of cases of scam, of bogus beggars here, it, it seems like generosity is being perceived as a weakness rather than a virtue now. So, you know, it's really sad that we have to harden ourselves, force ourselves to be hard on ourselves and to be hard on other people around us. So, but well. No, but actually, I mean, I quite agree with Justin on the mm. point that... Um, rather than we don't need to be hard on ourselves it's just that before we do something we probably need to really think hard, think through mm. why we're giving the money to and mm. i mean to to whom and and why we're doing it okay. so that's that mm. okay we have come to the end of our show we want to thank uh, mr cha and justin for joining us tonight and uh, we'll more we'll have more hot issues again tomorrow same time same place stay with us as next up is the news with razor's top five good, good night, night.